and let's talk, okay? Special delivery. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, how's Mr. Jameson as a boss? Well, Corinne, I'll tell you. After one year on the job, I can honestly say he's uh, different. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, listen, that's my other line. Uh, I'll call you later. Okay, bye bye. Mr. Jameson's office. Uh huh. You want him to donate to what? Honey, you got the wrong Mr. Jameson. You're welcome. <laughs> the Atlantic Socialist Alliance wants Mr. Jameson to make a donation. <laughs> Mr. Jameson? Yes, and he's so conservative, he wouldn't even eat a piece of steak if it was a little bit pink. <laughs> Rita, did I hear you say that you've been here almost a year? Mm hmm. I can't believe it's been that long. Seems longer to you, too, huh? <laughs> Well, I gotta tell you, it's really nice having you here. I mean, it's nice having somebody else on my side, if you know what I mean. Well, thanks, Pete. But it works both ways. I mean, everybody needs somebody to talk to. Which reminds me, I saw your pal Spider-Man on the news last night. Oh, yeah, so did I. Does this mean our mystery man is going public, hmm? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't. It's just that there really wasn't any other way for him to handle that. I mean, Rita, that girl was gonna jump. Well, a little publicity never hurt anybody. In Spider-Man's case, I'm not so sure that's true. Rita, would you get me the files on last year's garbage strike, please? Hello, Parker. Hi, Mr. Jameson. I suppose you're here to sell me some exclusive photos on Spider-Man in action. Well, no, I, I, I saw that on television, too. I'm sorry about that, sir. Come on, boss. You can't expect Pete to get every photo of Spider-Man. Oh, I can't, can't I? Why else do you suppose I've got him on the payroll? Now, that's not fair. Pete does a good job every time you send them out. Which isn't nearly as often as I'd like, sir. Keep out of this, will you, Parker? But it's true. You never put them on the big stories. If I had wanted a partner to help me make decisions here, I'd have gotten one 30 years ago. Uh, Mr. Mr. Jameson, Jameson, I have an idea for a story that I think you'll really like. You have an idea for a story? Yes, now, I'm sure you're really going to like this. Not now, but can't you see that I'm busy? You know, Rita, you really shouldn't talk to him like that. He could have you fired. He wouldn't dare. Oh, yes, he would. 
And he will, too, if you make him mad enough. And he has some very important friends that could make it very difficult for you to get another job. Oh, yeah? Well, I got some friends, too, that could make it very difficult for him to keep the tires on his rolls, if you know what I mean. Rita, you are terrific. <laughs> What is so important for you to drag me off a tennis court? I want to show you something I got from a TV station in New York. Couldn't this have waited? This is a piece of history you're seeing. Spider-Man has been seen on the rooftops of the city for a long time now, but this is his debut on the 6 o'clock news. The young woman had been on the ledge for over an hour. According to New York Police Department spokesman Captain Barbera, she resisted all attempts to talk her out of it. In the captain's own words, we needed a miracle, I guess you could say we got one. I'm sure we would have lost her if it hadn't been for Spider-Man. That's the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Incredible? Wrong word. Why don't you try ridiculous? I want you to get the examiner an interview with that Spider-Man character. I want to do a cover story on him. You're kidding. You want to do a cover story on some weirdo who thinks he's a cross between Rudolf Nureyev and Tarzan? The public will eat it up. Oh, oh, Sid, why me? Because he's a man, and you have a way of getting men to do what you want. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Then why can't I persuade you to put somebody else on this story? Because I know you too well. You're mm -hmm. on the 7.30 into Kennedy. Hmm. Wait a minute. How am I supposed to get in touch with this nut? Look him up in the phone book. Funny gal, funny. There's some people you should see for research. The real key is a college student who's a part-time photographer for the New York Daily Bugle. Until this news film, he was the only one that was ever able to get close to this Spider-Man. Hmm. Peter Parker. That's the one. 